Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday. Hump day. Happy hump day. I wanted to show you this uh, coffee that I got now that I'm using. Because I bought that little kettle that I showed you at the end of yesterday's video, right? And for the first time in my life, I've been drinking instant coffee. And it's not actually as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be terrible. I got the Nescafe Rich Intense. It's actually not bad at all. I've got this little uh, kettle where I heat up my water in the mornings now. I've got these cups with lids up here. I guess I should grab a lid too so that I can uh, make my own coffees in the truck here. I'm trying to uh, see how much food I can make in here instead of always going to uh, going into the truck stop to buy expensive truck stop food. This is hot water. Just heat it up. It's a very small little kettle just for the car or for the truck. Just plug it into a cigarette lighter. And I already got the instant coffee and my cream in there. Oh, it's kind of hard to pour it without making a mess. The spout is very small on there. We'll get there. Or you can just go all out and just pour it all at once like that. <laughs> and uh, one cup of coffee is pretty much one whole thing of that. So not much left over. But that's my coffee now. And the Neste, uh, Nest Cafe was about $6.99, I think, Canadian in the store. I also got some oatmeal here. I got some chunky soup. This I have a, uh, where is it? It's in here, I think. Uh, I bought a little uh, stove or a portable, little portable oven, right? And this heats your food up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So I can heat up some soup in there. I can make rice. I have a lot more options now anyways. And that's that. Let's get to trucking. We're in Rush City, Minnesota this morning. Stayed at this holiday truck stop. Seems to be one of those forgotten ones because there's a couple of quick trips down here in a, in a Love's Travel Plaza closer to Minneapolis behind me, south of me. And they were pretty full, all filled up. Those ones always fill up first. I like to come to these ones. Yeah, it's a gravel parking lot. And my truck gets a little dusty. It doesn't make me happy, you know me. But I stopped late at night yesterday, late. And I like coming to these kind of truck stops then because I know there's usually gonna be parking. That was a very nice place to stop. Since I don't have diesel with me, this sort of turns into my table. I was thinking of maybe even leaving his platform here too, just so I have a little bit of a bigger, a little bit of a bigger table. I have my my hats here. My this needs a new fuse. I blew this fuse yesterday in here. See that? It did not like my kettle. So I need to get a new fuse for that eventually. Uh, I can put that down there for now. Got my breakfast champions right here. Case for my glasses, case for my sunglasses. Vest, I've already done my pre-trip. I'm ready to rock and roll, I don't know about you guys. You guys clicked on this video because you were ready to rock and roll, weren't you? Didn't you? Okay, so I'm just gonna roll forward. I checked my fifth wheel, it is uh, attached. My trailer's attached to it. I'm just gonna make double sure here now. I'm gonna roll forward about a couple of feet. Spike the trailer. Trailer brakes work, trailer's attached. I'm gonna roll forward again. And the brakes release. Beautiful. Now we gotta wait for this guy here. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing, bud? Nice freight shaker you got yourself there. Very nice. You're gonna back in here, aren't you? Oh, that coffee's actually really good. Where did I put my phone though? Is this it? Oh, why? what are you doing back there? No. I got my headset right here, just in case I get any phone calls. 
Okay, let's go. Let's go pick up our load. We're going to Duluth, Minnesota, which is about an hour and a half north of here where we're at. We're gonna pick up a load there, bring it to our yard in Manitoba. And I'm hoping they're gonna have a, a drop and hook situation for me where I can get right back out on the road. A little bit of a slow start to the week this week. Didn't have anything to do on Monday. So I started on Tuesday, so I'd really like to keep busy, but we'll see what they got. Well, some weeks are busier than other weeks. My last couple of weeks have been very busy. Why am I gonna go that? No, I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go to the I-35. Where do you want me to go? Karen, you don't know, you're still sleeping. Karen doesn't know what she's talking about. Diesel price here in Rush City, Minnesota is $5.40 per U.S. gallon. Woo! Going for the high score. California, what are you at right now? It must be ridiculous out there. This is exit 195. We're on Interstate 35 northbound, north of Minneapolis. And we are... Uh, being directed off the highway here by Karen. I checked her work. Looks legit. So we're gonna follow her directions right now. For now anyways, right? Toward Askov. Looks like a little bit of a shortcut. And this road actually uh, dips us through the northwest tip of Wisconsin. Just barely. This is where I was hoping to make it to last night. The Banning Junction. I was gonna park in here, but my e-log here didn't think it was a good idea. I thought it was a great idea. I had lots of energy, I could've kept going. I guess I should say the US government doesn't think it's a good idea. <laughs> they told me I had to go to bed. High school, that way. You see that sign? Just in case. Just in case the locals forget where to bring their kids. Hey, bring your kids over here. Oh, that thing's huge. Whoa. East Central Schools. That thing is massive. Wow. Well, I guess we have a pretty big high school in Steinbeck too. It's ginormous. That is huge. Looks like we get some nice back road countryside views this morning though. Look at this. That's a nice treat. Got some people fishing down here. Oh, you won't be able to see them. Beautiful, look at this. Look at this. Would you just look at it? Thank you. 
I've arrived and I recognize this place now. I have been here before. We're hauling metal pieces like that. Uh, small palace, but they look pretty heavy. I'm gonna get my vest on, my sweater and everything. It's a little chilly outside. And uh, go find the shipper, get loaded, tie it down and book it on back home. <sighs> yes. Oh, let's turn the lights off. How about that? I'm used to having the lights on over here. Oh, it's actually pretty nice out. I'm gonna have to move this and put it at the back of the trailer over here. Here's the driver's entrance there. Let's go see if we can find somebody. Didn't have time this last weekend to give old Blue the bath she deserved. We had a talk though. She's okay with it, she forgave me. But I'm gonna have to do an extra good job next weekend, she says. Here's my load. Just steel casts. Not too heavy, they're about uh, 6,000 pounds a pallet, I believe. I'm all tied down. I have strap protection over the sides there where it needs to be. Let's rock and roll. That's the theme of today, right? Rock and roll. <sighs> I was a little disappointed this morning with my new little uh, coffee heater upper thinger. I don't know what was going on, but I had it plugged in for an hour and it wouldn't heat up past lukewarm. So I'm gonna try it one more time now, see if I can get it to, to heat up, because yesterday I got it pretty much to boiling. Like it was, like, my coffee would hurt my tongue, right? Like coffee should, that's the way coffee's supposed to be. And today I could just barely get it to lukewarm, so I don't know if it wasn't connecting properly maybe, or what in the world? I'm gonna try it again right now, and uh, see if I can get some, some hot water. Then I'm gonna make some oatmeal once that's heated up. Yesterday it only took about 15 minutes to get it up to boiling point from cold. Like I took it out of my cooler cold. Today I put warm water in there that wasn't even in the cooler. So here, let's, uh, let's show you this. I'm gonna take warm water from down here. Oh, I have one right here, perfect. From 400 meters. Calm down, Karen. Possible. Calm down, I'm telling a story. Okay, I'm gonna put this whole thing in here. Okay. Nice clean water. Okay. I'm gonna unplug this one. Ah, Kenworth, why did you put your plugs in the middle behind the cup holders? I gotta have a talk with the engineers. I mean, yeah. that's not cool. Not cool. So I'm gonna plug this one in here. Okay. You turn this on. And you see that light come on in there? It means that it's connecting properly. I think that's the way it's not supposed to go the other way, right? No, it's definitely not supposed to go that way. It doesn't fit that way. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay, well, let's see what happens, right? If it doesn't uh, heat this up properly, I'm going to return it. I bought it at the Flying J in St. Adolph. I think I'm gonna stop by there tonight anyways for a shower. And uh, if that doesn't heat up, I'm gonna bring it back and say, hey, this thing's not working. Worked for one day. I have a seven day return policy on it. So I bought it day before yesterday. Should be good. Kind of disappointing. I should probably try out that little oven that I got too, eh? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should. I should put some food in there, shouldn't I? Test this all out. Okay. Okay, you guys can... Uh, <sighs> hang out here with me while I do this. I'm just running out of plugs, that's all. I'll have to do the water first, and then we'll make supper with this later. This is supposed to heat up my food to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So... We'll see what happens. <laughs> 
to leave this here for now. I'm going to heat up some of that soup for supper. For lunch, I'll have oatmeal with that hot water. Ugh, but I'm supposed to have the engine running while that's on, otherwise it could drain the battery. That's how much power it's supposed to use, right? So you think the, the water would just physically be boiling. Okay. Yeah, because that one's a little bit small for me anyways, but I mean, it's, it's perfect for one person, right? Make one cup of coffee in the morning, make one ball of oatmeal or whatever for lunch and blah, 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 like that. But I mean, if it's not gonna heat it up properly, I'm gonna bring it back and uh, get a bigger one, one that works properly. Way too many wires here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a Bluetooth auxiliary cable. One of you uh, guys said it in your comments and I appreciate that for the heads up. I have this auxiliary cable because this stereo isn't Bluetooth. I have to connect it to my phone through this so I can listen to my music. I can get a Bluetooth auxiliary plug eventually. I mean, I don't want to spend money on that right now because this is working. It's just a little annoying, but it works. You heat my water up there, little buddy. Like I said, this morning I had it heating for an hour. Just got to lukewarm. Very disappointing. All right, ladies and jelly beans. Let's roll out. I sent in all my paperwork already. For the border. Should be ready to clear as soon as possible. Oh, we got an army of cobra chickens down here. I didn't know our Air Force had a base here. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Out of my way. Don't stare me down like that. This guy wanted to fight. Looks like we'll be taking US Highway 2 westbound. We're going to cross through from Pembina, North Dakota into Emerson, Manitoba.
also regarding my kettle I figured out what the problem was it did heat but it wasn't connecting properly at the base right where it's a, it connects to the power supply what actually heats it and uh you had to hold it sit there and hold it a specific way and it takes about 15 20 minutes for the water to get somewhat hot you'd have to sit there and hold it or i could like jam a little piece of uh like rubber or something in there just to hold it in place for about half an hour and then i had hot water but as soon as i start going down the road or you know as soon as i bump it or the truck shakes it would stop heating again so it wasn't connecting properly so i stopped by here where i bought this at the flying j in saint agath we're back here in canada and exchanged it so i got a new one i hope this one works better gonna keep my receipt again just in case this was the last one they had on their shelf though so if i want to return it here uh i'm gonna have to wait for them to restock it but hopefully this one works worked great like if you can hold it just right heats the water up right to a boil works great but if i'm paying money for for a product i just want it to work right <laughs> i'll exchange it for one right you pay the money for a working product. I don't want to sit there and like jerry rig it or like hold it every single time. I want one that works proper. This one works much better. Look at that, it's got the water to a boil. The other one didn't do that. Nice. Good, I'm glad I exchanged that then. I'm gonna make some soup. I walked around this whole block here just making sure that we're allowed to park here and we absolutely are. We're not allowed to park on that side though. Big signs there, no parking either way there. There's a sign back here that I saw. It said no parking. I was like, oh, oh. But it's no parking. I don't know if you can read it. From 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Monday to Friday, this way. That's so that uh, it doesn't block, you don't block this intersection. So that big trucks can get around here, swing around nice and wide. So I can park that direction of this sign. And the other sign says I can park in this direction of the other sign. So you can still fit like two or three cars behind me here yet. So that was my day today, everybody. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Uh, there'll be another video tomorrow. I make videos almost every day. Uh, you can go back 10, 11 years of my life. Pretty much every day documenting my life as a truck driver, uh, based in Canada, drive across Canada and the United States, and we've been everywhere. We took that Johnny Cash song quite literally. I've been everywhere, man. The only place in North America, Canada and the US, that I haven't been to, well in Canada I haven't been to the territory of Nunavut because there's literally no roads that lead there. Can't drive there. Been everywhere else. Uh, in the U.S., I haven't been to Alaska, and I haven't been to Hawaii. Hawaii, same reason as none of it. It's hard to drive there. Alaska, we do go there. My dad's been there a few times. Uh, maybe one day I will go there. But, uh, haven't been to Alaska yet. Other than that, I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere. You can see all of my life's journey, not just in trucking, but also at home. We're having a baby. Our first baby. I'm so excited. And uh, all of my videos are organized into playlists on my main page. Go to my main channel page there, uh, Trucker Josh Vlogs, and go down to my uh, playlists. There's over a dozen of them. And I try to organize them the best I can for you so you can just watch the ones you want to watch, whether it be at home, whether it be about the baby, whether it be trucking, and, uh, you know, by year from, I think, 2014. There's videos from before that as well, but we're in season nine right now of Trucker Josh Vlogs. Coming up on season 10. So, please, don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends about Trucker Josh, and I'll see you later. Thanks for tagging along today.